Hey mages on the internet, Matt here from TellMTG with another MTG Arena deck guide gameplay video for you. And this one was voted by you, the subscribers. I put a little um, poll up on my community page. Uh, people want to see like a Planeswalker Super Friends deck, so I put up like Mardu, Timor and Jeskai. And just ahead was Jeskai. So today we're going to do Jeskai Super Friends. Uh, Mardu was very close behind, so you might see a Mardu one. I did build a Mardu one ready. Uh, Timor was 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 quite a bit behind, <laughs> but you know, might do that down the future as well. But that's voted for by you is going to be Jeski Walkers. So let's take a look at the deck. So Jez Kai Super Friends is what we're playing today. Now we are going to run a companion in this. Um, it's not dedicated around this, but if you can have that extra card, why not just have Karuga Beluga? Because Karuga Beluga can come in. Most everything we're going to have is going to be uh, three mana or greater. So why not have Karuga Beluga come in and give us that card draw? In there, can also be sacked as well with Luca to maybe find our other creature. We've got some shenanigans going on here. But yes, it's not dead, you know, it's a Karuga Beluga as a companion. If you can have the extra card, why not just have it? So, Planeswalkers. We've got lots of Planeswalkers. How many have we got? Let's have a count up, shall we? 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 super friends to keep us going and hopefully win us the game. Starting off with Narset. Jeskai gives us some great, great planeswalkers. Uh, Narset part of Ales can help us go and find it. Stop opponents drawing more than one card a turn. Seen play in all different formats because it's literally great and just look at that art. We get to use Teferi, of course. We get some very dirty planes, well, because I'm not going to lie. We do get some dirty ones in Jeskai, Narset, Teferi, Ashiok to help us against those graveyard shenanigan decks. Very good at the moment, Ashiok. Then we've got Sahili to pump out some tokens, if we can. We're going to be needing these tokens a little bit late on, which is why we have Elsbeth, Sun's Nemesis as well, that can pump out some tokens. Occasionally, they will get used to be blockers, so we can just protect the Planeswalkers. But they do have another, another role in this deck. So we've got Luca. I'm just skipping over Narset for a minute because I'm talking about this. We've got Luca, minus two. Exile target creature you control. Reveal cards from top of your library to reveal a creature with higher coveted mana cost. And we've only got one in there. And that's Dirty Agent of Treachery. So when we sack a token, we guarantee that we are probably, probably, 100% sure, going to get this agent on the field. Get the agent on the field. Sack token. We've got three of the agents in there. Couldn't quite fit the fourth. You know, I'm going three. Three should be enough. Because, you know, once we get this going in the deck, they're just going to quit. We know how it happens. We know what happens. Uh, so, yeah, we can sack the tokens and then get the agent into play with Luca on the field. We do need Luca on the field to do that. We have Narset. Great. Gains a bit of life. Uh, casting non-creature spells is what we got. So we can just keep doing that. Gaining a bit of life and using the plus one to ramp up a little bit. And if we can get to the emblem, and the emblem is another winning chance for us as well. We also have Chandra and Awakened Inferno, where we can plus one, get those little emblems on there and do the one damage you turn and hopefully just build that up as well. Sarkhan turns them all into dragons. Yes, please. We've got a few wing cons in this deck, you know, which we could have four or five of these on the battlefield, four or five little walkers, and then all of a sudden they become four or four flyers. Bang, game winning. So we're going to have to keep the fields clear. So we've got three Deafening Clarion, we've got four Shatter the Sky. And just to make this deck even dirtier, we're obviously running fires because look at the colours, look at the colour combinations. Get this in there. We're playing Planeswalkers, we're not playing really anything at an instant speed. So let's get this on there, make everything easier to play, and then just basically take over the game with the Jeskai Super Friends. Oh, it sounds so easy, doesn't it? It really does sound easy. So let's have a look. Uh, we've got Khan's Bastion as a one-off. Um, we could obviously pump up and put um, proliferate, give them all extra counters. That's what we like. Into Planet Beacon gets low. This really can save you some games. Casting, even if the Planeswalkers are actually going to die, the opponents normally attack the Planeswalkers. This can sometimes give us, obviously, one, two, three, four life. Amazing card. We've got one of the Trioms. we got, you know, all these lovely rare, rare lands that we have to use to play these sort of decks. A uh, few little basics there. Let's see how the deck goes, shall we? The one voted by you, Karuga Belugas. It is Jeskai Super Friends. Let's get to some gameplay. Right, playing Nexus. Oh, well, it won't be Nexus of Fate, that's for sure. But they used to play it, though. 
A uh, couple of fires, three lands. Yeah, not too bad. I didn't mention as well, we also have Elspeth's Conqueror in the deck. <laughs> Skipped over that one. So excited about the super friends. Uh, let's play our little trio. We've got the land now ready for fires. I mean, you could build a Jeski Super Friends deck without fires, but you're obviously, you just, I mean, how many have we got there? You're just probably making the deck worse if you don't, because it just makes the deck so smooth when you can play this. Playing two Planeswalkers a turn potentially is, is very strong. So, uh, we are going to have to, though, we will save a little bit of life. We're going to bounce the Love Struck. We could bounce a token, but then if they play another, I'd rather just bounce this for now. Draw another land, stop the attacks, because if they played another 1-1, one, one, then that would just be out of attack. So obviously we still lose to Fairy, but... Oh, okay. That's the way you go, eh? Well, we're going to need the fires down now. And bye-bye. I was hoping they would make the mistake there, but they didn't. I was hoping. Um, right, come on. We're going to need a bit of that. We're going to need some Wrath. Wrath, please. There it is. Shatter the sky. Lovely. Lovely. That is what we want to see. Oh, oh, going all in for it. Going all in. They saw the shatter, but hey, they do draw two cards, though. Nice it goes. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, let's play a land. Enter tapped. Let's do shatter. Dum, dum, dum. Let's play another Narset. Yeah, they said an oops there. That was a bit of an oops, and we'll take another Shatter. Yeah, shouldn't have played Shifting Ceratops there at all. Oh, Clothis. Clothis is nice. It's constant gain, but we will be able to get rid of it. So, uh, we're actually 3 6. We need one more. So, let's go activate over here and we shall take Luca 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 let's Elsbeth's um, get rid of Clothis and let's let's Karuga Beluga draw some cards yes we get the other land and that was enough for the win Karuga Beluga comes in Oh, the deck. You can see, look at the hand. Oh, we were going to be Luca in. We were going to be Adrian. Oh, deck is smooth. Smooth. That was nice. Let's get to another game. Now, don't forget, if you like what you see today, smashing the like button really does help and subscribing. I've got about 80, I think it's about 78% of people that are watching that aren't subscribed. So please hit that button. It really does help. Um, so we're getting lots of views, but we, we need the subscriptions. We get lots of views every video, but. We need the subscriptions to help us grow. Commenting as well is a big, big thing. Say hello. Tell me where you're from. <laughs> right. What shall we play? I think we go down with a... Oh, I meant to play... For uh, some reason I saw that and just saw tri uh, Triome. Um, so it's going to cost me a life now. Boo. Okay. Uh, pay to life. Let's go Ashok. Get a life back. Ashok comes in. No, it doesn't. So Healy comes in. God, sort brain out. Sort brain out. Sometimes my brain just goes soft when I record. Come on, we really need land. Mm, tap land. Um, well, let, let's start playing a bit, shall we? Let's do a bit of um, a bit of sack in there because we like the sack effect there. And uh, we will do a bit of um, bit of this. It looks like we could get an agent down pretty quick. We just need to draw that land. What do we get rid of there? Okay. Oh, there's an ash up there as well. Interesting. Interesting. End turn. See, sometimes they see that little 1-1 one, one, and they leave that not innocuous 1-1 one, one there because they think, well, it's not really doing much. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Makes a dragon. Oh, there's the land. 
So let's go there. Let's go, fires. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Uh, let's go, Luca. Boom, boom. Let's minus Luca. Exile this. Good game. Opponents said good game already. That is the end of it. Age of the Treachery was coming in. Thank you, Yiddish Rapper. Oh, I think this could be a ladder deck, boys and girls. I really do. This deck is pretty sweet. We can take over games strong. Right, let's get on to another game. Here we go. Against Lay. 9-2-0. Opening hand. Oh, opponent goes first. We're going to mulligan because we need a few more lands than that. And that is good. And we will ditch the treachery. Which is okay. We will say hello to our opponents. And we will... Come in with a sacred foundry. So, what are we playing? Paradise Druid. Nice, nice. Uh, let's go in. Steam vents. Tapped. We might crack open a little. See what opponent plays. It's a couple of druids. Yeah, we're going to crack open a really quick deafening clarion here, without a doubt. This is this is definite deafening clarion city. Uh, clear the board completely. Opponent overextended a bit there, but they are ramping in. So we can go fires. God, the deck just feels... I mean, maybe just the, the card gods are helping me today, but... Okay, nice. Returning permanent to hands. I really like the Mythos cards. Um, let's go Patriot Life. Let's go in with one of them. And let's go with Ashiok. Since they might be doing a bit of graveyard shenanigans. Oh, Endro's a forerunner. Some rampy ramp stuff going on here. And then uh, probably going to come down with some big creatures. Yeah, that's some ramp happening there. And that was enough for another game. Well, it's like playing Bono Red. The games are as quick as that today. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. The people are just sitting on deck and just saying, no, thanks. There's a lot of quitters around today. Unfortunately, like I've said before, someone said about this, sometimes when you not don't I don't get to feature a card in a video. Um, if I recorded until I had full perfect matches every time, I could be recording all day. Um, you I have to take the video sometimes. Obviously, if it's a really if it's a rope or something like that, I will just obviously quit and go on to another game. But you know, we're playing some proper decks here. We're just we're just getting super fast starts. Um you know, Lurus is a very good deck, so we, you know, we've got to be. We're gonna have to go some to beat this deck. We know this deck is really good. It could be the mono black Lurus deck. Uh, but yeah, we've met some good matches, and the deck's just, the deck's just good. Well, it appears good. It's fun to play. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> oh, there's a cat. See, look, cat oven, cat oven. Da, da, da. Now they haven't managed to search for that yet. So, I could... I think I'm going to crack off this now. Because then they can't get another one of them straight away. I feel like that was a good option. We haven't got... Really annoying. We haven't got the old Fires of Invention just yet. Uh, but if we can get a Token Maker... Then we can start doing Lucas stuff. Lucas shenanigans. Priest of Forgotten God. Oh, I'd love to get rid of that. I'd love to get rid of that. Um, we each card non land card. So you're going to deal damage because that card. Um, do you know what? It's gain of life. I know that's a massive problem. That card. Uh, deals damage, or do I wait? I do have a Shatter the Sky here, so do I actually just wait? Actually, come on, let's just wait. Let's gain a bit of life, add a bit of white mana, and we're past turn. You know, we're not going to be sacking it to sacrifice some creatures. We don't have anything. Um, I'd rather than play a bit more of the field, and then we can Shatter the Sky, potentially. Let's try and get to this emblem. Because the emblem is really good. The emblem is... Uh, whenever you cast an uncreased spell, two damage to any target. So we can either start pinging their creatures, which they will have a lot of two or less toughness, or we can just keep going in for the opponent. 
opponent is thinking. Okay, but at least they haven't quit like the last opponent. What are you doing, Lurus Cat Oven Dick? Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Now we're gonna have to ditch an Ashiok there, unfortunately. Uh, but we can we now the opponent knows we've got Ashiok. So the ideal draw here would be Oven. Uh Oven. Fighters, then we can play Ashiok. Shatter maybe or Yeah, opponent just quit. Wow, we are getting loads of quitters today. They've seen Ashiok there and they're just quitting. This is honestly going to be... I'm sorry that everyone is quitting. I actually tried to record two matches before this as well. Everyone is just quitting today. Now, I know I could take this to the ladder. But, you know, it's a deck that's basically just starting out. It's just testing. It's it's a few days old. I got, You know, I'm not going to take this to ladder play just yet. But it feels like the way it's playing that it could be. It could be that ladder deck. Just from people's reactions to playing against it. Um, let's go Hallowed. I mean, must admit, in every match that someone's quit, I felt very strong straight away. Now, this would be a different matter. Now, because we're going to be playing Mono Red. So, as long as we can give it a good match, I'll be okay. Okay, Scorchy, Scorchy. We do have some life gain in the deck. There we go. If nothing gets played, I'll be happy. Okay. Oh, it's Calamity. Okay. It's Calamity. Oh, another score split up. Um, we, we have to slow him down because there's Calamity coming down next turn. Gain a life. Right and we need lands. So let's ditch one of them back. We do draw a land, which is nice. So now... Now... <laughs> Now what we need is Fires of Invention to actually take the go over the game. Come on, Fires. Now, obviously, we don't run Storm's Wrath in this deck because, although it'd be very good in it, Attack Planeswalkers, we're running Super Friends deck, so we're not going to be using Storm's Wrath, which is why we use Shatter and Clarion, obviously, if anyone's wondering. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to be very... I don't know what we're going to do. Unless we draw the old Fires. No. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll play... Another one then, because it is life gain. Bang, bang. We get some more life. Um. Right. Mm, less plus. Gain a bit more life. Add red and pass the turn. I was thinking about discarding to get rid of that, but they can just attack it anyway. So we might as well do that. We're keeping up to a, a, a decent life at the moment. Tin Street. Any elementals here? No. Okay. Oh, one elemental. Scorch Spitters and elementals. Just thinking about the old Chandra effect here with the minus three. There's lots of elementals. God. You think they would have got the Calamity down? They did have Calamity, didn't they? I'm sure I saw Calamity. They chose not to play it. Yeah, it chose not to. Strange. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. You're attacking. You're attacking Narset, which is what you're staying off us at the moment, so that's not too bad. Come on, fires. Give me the fires. Oh, there's Elspeth. Elspeth is not bad. Because we go like this. We play Elsbeth, we make some tokens, we gain some more life, and then we... Oops, okay. Don't know what opponent oops for, but we'll find out. We'll play some tokens. And then hopefully, we can Luca start taking stuff <laughs> this is what we want to do okay now we will block do we block one we probably will block one which will be the scorch splitter these can be unblockable can't they yet don't care about that dying okay okay no blocks no blocks 
And another Scorch Splitter, okay. And a Grim, right, okay. If we draw land... <laughs> now, what do we do? Hmm. And it's tapped. I'm going to play Luca just for the bants. Just for the absolute bants. We're going to minus two. We're going to get rid of one of these. Uh, we're going to bring an agent of treachery. We're going to take Chandra. We could take the land, obviously. We could plus it. There's plus. And no attacks. Right. Okay. We've got Chandra coming down next turn. So I took this just in case they'd ever drawn another Calamity. Okay. That's fine. That's fine, he says. <laughs> we got to ferry. Okay. So. They're all coming at us. So we go block. Can we take this damage? One. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hold on. Let's take it. Right. Oh, so let's do that. Let's exile this. Then we'll take Torbran. We'll take Torbran. Um, what do we take? We go Chandra. Gain three life. We have minus three. Boo! Bye bye to all them. Um, and then, what do we do? We will up the loyalty and pray. Right, we need to get through one more turn. Okay, Annex is nice. We got Teferi though. Then we can start attacking it with the Chandras. All oh, right. Okay, so let's. Is that an elemental? Uh, no, it's not. Okay, but we can kill both of them. So we're minus three again, which seems pretty decent. Get rid of them. They get one token. Okay, so then we will make some Chandras. And then these will attack. We've got Torbran down. And then we will exile one of these. Oh, the deck is just so fun. Here he comes, and we'll take the Scorch Splitter, and that was enough. Why did you say he oops when I played it, eh? You just made yourself look like a wallet. We just took apart Calamity Red there. Took apart. Love it. GG's. Let's go for another game, shall we? Let's see what card we got. It's a Timberlet. Here we go against Sakakan. Sakakan. <laughs> three lands we did it without fires then as well which was really good that last game right let's go vents pass turn so we got um clarion we can play we need to draw into some good stuff oh mono red oh mono red's gonna get its own back now and it? it's gonna get its own back come on dump the field okay that's still, a, that's still a good payoff for two. Um, so we'll play. Because Keen can do some work. So we'll get rid of these now. Slow, 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 slow down. We need we need some other mana. That's for sure. Okay, another Steam King. Come on, blue mana. Okay. Oh, Khan's Bastion. Okay. Um... go yeah this is this, it was a good little start there but we've not drawn how we want we need the fire's invention it seems to have gone missing in our last few games 
So we can Elspeth's absolutely nothing. 6-4. Jesus, going all in. Going all in. We could be in big trouble here. Big trouble. So if they take that off. Okay, right. Come on, Wrath. That is not a Wrath. Well, we can play this, but it does absolutely nothing. Oh, dear me. I think we did, not we? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're pretty much there. We can play Karuga Beluga. No, we can't. Well, we're just past turn. Drawn absolutely nothing. Well, this one has been a complete wipeout. Uh, we're just dead. And GG's. Mono Red gets his own back. Uh, but we... Maybe I kept a silly hand there. I, I, or maybe, I don't think I went off the clarion too early because... I was worried about it building up and then just doing stuff, but, you know, they drew into more. Maybe I should have held on a little bit, but we would have taken a lot more damage by then and they'd only need to attack with a few. Um, but, yep, yeah, we suffer defeat. Let's get on to another game. Here we go. Playing. No idea whatsoever. <laughs> Absolutely no clue. <laughs> right. Uh, blue, blue. Blue, blue. Keep. Haven't got the wild. We got one little bit of white mana. Need a bit more, but we've got two planeswalkers we can play. Oh, we're playing another Yorian deck today. Now, Yorian decks always seem to find that turn three to fairy. I mean, we've got it, but hey, they've got 80 cards. Here we go. Now, I could have placed Sahidi there, but I wanted to be the first one to get to Fairy down. Oh, maybe it's different colours. Okay. Okay. Um, let's bounce. Draw a card. In there. Let's play Narset, because we need to find Fires. I would like to play Sahidi there, but Fires is important. We can do it next turn if we need be. Here comes down another cross. Okay. Come on. There it is. Fires comes in. Um. Ba -ba 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 -boom. Let's play Ellsworth. Get rid of Kuros because that's just going to be a pain. Okay, we got a very good hand here now. Very good hand. Oh my god, there's another one, really? <laughs> there's another one. Non creature spells cost more. Okay, uh, what do I want to play? Let's play Sublime. Sublime. Um, play another Narset. No beacons down yet, though, which is a bit annoying. And we get that. We will activate. What do we get? Ooh. Luca. Luca seems nice. And we will plus up to Fairy. And. Pass turn. Now we will Khan's Bastion. We will Khan's Bastion. Make sure I remember to do it. Thinking maybe I want two Khan's Bastion in there now. So if you add, you know, add this up. Let's proliferate. Um, auto pay. Um, resolve. Submit four. Um, I didn't really want to do it on the Elspeth, but... Um, okay, let's, let's put it in. Resolve. <laughs> uh, loyalty. Loyalty, loyalty. Submit one. And we will wish... Oh, uh, choose one to keep. We'll obviously keep that one. Resolve. Okay. They do not draw a card. Cycling. Okay, pass. Pass. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to block. Oh, no, we can't block. We can't block. Didn't realise it had menace. Okay. Shout the sky. Um, let's do this. Let's do the Luca. Ready? Are you ready? Let's exile. Let's go and get ourselves an agent. Let's take Kunarus. 
Okay, um, but that is enough for the game. That is enough for the game. It wasn't the flowiest of games there, but we come back with a final win, which is what I'm happy about. The old Luca agent combo for this deck for Jeski Super Friends is absolutely wicked. Give it a go. It's amazing. Right, that was your Jeski Super Friends deck. Works like a charm today. Worked like a charm. We made some good games there. We had a lot of people. So obviously, when we get the stuff down, they just want to quit straight away. But the deck is powerful. You don't have to have Karuga Beluga if you don't want it in there. You don't have to have that companion. I just have it in there because it's a nice bit of card draw. Everything's three or bigger. Going down there. Boom town. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Any other decks you want to see, put them in the comments below. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. We're on the way. We're on the way to 8,000. Then it's 9, 10. Oh, we're just going to grow with all your help. Thank you very much for your support. I really do appreciate it. You lot take care, and I'll see you on the next video.